Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very easy holiday look using all drugstore makeup. I felt like it's a good time of year for me to post something like this and you can get a really festive look using things that will not break the bank and I felt like it'd be fun to share with you guys what I would do if I was going to a holiday party or if there was a last minute event or if you just want to kind of spice up your makeup routine for the holidays. This is kind of what I'm into right now so we'll just get right into it. I'm going to actually start with complexion today and I really want my face to be nice and glowy but I want there to be long-lasting elements to it. I'm going to prep the skin with the Milani Soft Focus Glow Primer and I like to use mine in the shade Nude Glow. So I'm going to do about one pump of that. I'm going to kind of mix it between my hands first and then I'm going to just use my hands to apply this all over the face. I love the glow that this gives the skin. See that? Love it. Usually when I do complexion first, I don't do my brows yet because it's just easier for me, especially when, you know, it's a last minute situation. So we will get to the brows later. I always feel funny without my brows though, so I like to move quickly through my um, complexion products so I can get the brows on. For foundation today, I wanted to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I just felt like this would be a really good option for an event or a holiday party because it looks fresh on the skin, but it's also super long wearing, which is important. So I'm just gonna take that on a foundation brush and I'm gonna kind of start to spread that on the skin. I like to focus most of my coverage on the cheeks actually. And then I bring what's left toward the center of the face. I'm gonna apply the rest on the forehead. And then once I feel like the foundation is pretty evenly distributed, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my beauty sponge. And I just took that off the back of my hand and I'm gonna go over the entire face with the sponge just to kind of make sure that it still looks really fresh and that we have the right amount of coverage everywhere. This foundation is so pretty. It's perfect for the vibe I'm going for. It has like the perfect amount of coverage, but like again, a beautiful fresh finish. So let's go ahead and conceal the under eyes and then also any blemishes that are still showing through. This is a tried and true for me. This is a very amazing concealer. It's just really reliable in situations like this where I'm getting ready for a holiday party. I'm actually going to a holiday party tonight and this is the makeup I'm gonna wear, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Fair and I'm gonna use that to conceal the under eye area and to brighten up the cheeks a little bit. I'm gonna put a little on the chin and on the forehead and a bit down the center of the nose as well. And then I take a bit of a deeper shade. This is the shade Light. And this shade works well for covering up blemishes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that on the areas where I want a bit more coverage, which is usually along the jawline and sometimes on the cheeks a little bit. Okay, I feel like that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and I'm gonna blend out the blemish concealer first since it's a darker shade. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the rest of the concealer all over the face. And after I've blended everything out, I'm gonna take what's left on the sponge and I'm gonna use that to conceal the eyelids just to kind of cancel out any darkness or veins or discoloration on the eyes. Okay, next I'm gonna set the entire face with my favorite drugstore powder. This is from Wet n Wild, it's the Photo Focus Translucent Powder. It's incredible. And I'm gonna take that on a small brush first and I'm gonna lock in the under eye area. I'm also gonna set the T-zone with this brush. And then I'm gonna take a larger brush and dip into that same powder and I'm gonna use that to set the cheeks and the forehead. And I don't wanna to forget to set the eyelids with some powder as well, just to make sure that that concealer that we put on before doesn't crease. Okay, things are looking pretty good so far. We're gonna go ahead and warm up the skin with my favorite drugstore bronzer right now. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer, and I use the shade 01 Sunlight. It's incredible, I love this. I've talked about it several times on my channel now. So we're gonna warm everything up with this. I'm just gonna take that on an angled brush and start to build it up along the cheekbones and of course along the forehead. And I like to use more of a pressing motion to kind of press the bronzer onto the skin so that we don't remove any coverage underneath. I will buff after I press, but I like to get that initial color on with pressing motions using this brush. I of course like to take it along the jawline and down the neck and a bit of the extra down the side of the nose, underneath the nose and under the lip. Okay, I always like to take the brush that I used with powder and lightly just buff over the bronzer. Okay, I know what blush I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it right now. I wanted to use the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade pink. I just like this in the winter time especially. Well, I like this all year round, but I feel like this is going to really add that healthy, vibrant kind of an effect to the skin since it's winter time. And it also kind of makes you look like it's cold, you know? <laughs> What's the opposite of sun-kissed? Like... Frozen? <laughs> snow kissed, perhaps? Yeah, we're trying to look snow kissed today. So I'm just gonna put a bit of this on the cheeks. Um, I'm gonna start with a lighter amount and then we're gonna do the eyes and the brows and everything. And then once I pick my final lip color, 
Um, we can go ahead and see if we want more blush or if I should tone it down a little bit. So everything looks good to me. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the skin with the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. I've been really into this. I like to take my sponge and dip directly into it. And then I'm gonna start to build this up on the high points of the face. And I'm just taking my time building it up to make sure that we don't remove any of the makeup underneath. Once you build it up, it looks so natural and it makes your skin look super healthy and hydrated and just lit from within, which I love. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm also gonna take a little bit down the center of the nose and on the cupid's bow. Okay, I feel like that's good for now. Let's get the brows on because I can't wait any longer. I'm gonna take my favorite brow pencil at the moment from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil and I use the shade Medium Brown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the brows with this pencil. Okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get right now. It took me a minute to do my brows today, I don't know. Do you ever have those days where like you go back and forth and something just doesn't quite look balanced? That's today. Sometimes I nail it on the first time, but I had to go back and forth quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and do the eyes. I'm actually gonna use bronzer. This is like the easiest thing to do when you're in a rush or if it's a last minute thing. Just take the bronzer that you used and start to create a shape on the eyelid using this. It'll just create like a more cohesive look anyway. I love to use bronzer on the eyelid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and dust this back and forth through the crease to start to create a nice shape there. I'm also gonna take a bit of that and run it underneath the lash line. Okay, once I feel like everything is pretty nice and defined on both eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a sparkle. And I'm wanting to use this this is the Essence Melted Chrome Eyeshadow, and I have this one in the shade 01 Zinc About You. That's a cute name. I'm gonna go ahead and take this just on my finger. And this is a little bit more of like a rosy tone, which is gonna really work for any of the lip colors that I end up choosing. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this on the eyelid. And I'm gonna start off lightly because I really just want something really gentle and soft on the eyes because we're gonna play around with lip colors. And if I end up going with a bold lip, I don't want the eye look to compete with that. So I just like to tap that on and it creates a really pretty subtle wash of shimmer. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. And I normally stop the shimmer like halfway across the eye or three quarters of the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it all the way across the lid since it's a super simple look. I normally always put shimmer on the lower lash line, but I think I'm gonna leave it as is today and just kind of have a little bit of definition using bronzer. We're gonna go ahead and put some mascara on. My favorite mascara from the drugstore would have to be the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Well, I have so many favorites, but this is a great one for more simple eye looks and for glamorous looks, but I reach for this when I want my lashes to look fake and if I really want them to be a focal point. So I'm gonna do about two to three coats, probably three on the top actually. I'm gonna really try to build it up to get as intense of a lash as possible. Okay, mascara is on. I'm just gonna dust away any fallout. All right, let's go ahead and pick out a lip now. I have three different colors that I wanna share with you because I feel like for holiday events, it just depends on your preference. And it kind of depends on like what the event is. For example, if you were just going out and you weren't going to be eating dinner, I would probably go with like a nice red lip. For me personally, a red lip is like too hard to manage when you're trying to eat and socialize and like check up on your lipstick. So in that case, you could just totally go with a nude and it would be really soft and wintry. If you wanted to vamp things up a little bit but you didn't want a red, you could do a berry. This would also work. And then of course, a red lip is always appropriate for the holiday. So I'm gonna go ahead and try all three on so you guys can see. Um, these are my favorite liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. Two of them are from Honest Beauty. This one is in the shade BFF. I'm gonna put this on first. Sorry if my lip lines aren't perfect on this. I'm just trying to give you guys a good idea of what it looks like. So it's definitely a nude, so this will be a much more of a toned down holiday look if that's something you're looking for. You still have some festiveness to the eyes. I actually love a nude lip with this. I think it's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. And then I'll show you the berry color from Honest Beauty. This is called Fearless. But I think this berry color is also perfect for the holidays. So again, sorry the lip lines aren't perfect for this. I'm just trying to show you. I think a berry lip is beautiful for the holidays as well. And I feel like a berry pairs perfectly with more jewel tones if that's what you're wearing. Um, so I wanted to share that with you as well. If Honest Beauty had a red in this formula, that's what I would choose. I looked it up to see if they made a red in this formula and it looks like there's something for the holidays. I don't know if it's gonna be permanent, um, but I don't have it. Otherwise I would wear it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my other favorite liquid lipstick formula. I've used this particular lipstick in a couple holiday tutorials on my channel, but it's honestly because 
The formula is incredible and the color is amazing as well. So the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip in the shade Fight Free Reticles is amazing for a red lip. I'm gonna go ahead and line the lips with the Koki Cosmetics Retractable Lip Liner in the shade True Red. And I'm gonna spend quite some time on this because the thing about a red lip is it can be quite tedious. So I'm just gonna make sure that my lip lines are good. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Physicians Formula Liquid Lipstick right on top. And again, I'm gonna really spend my time here Okay, I'm gonna leave the lips to dry for a second. I'm gonna move back to the complexion because once you apply lipstick, a lot of times I feel like it throws everything off balance a little bit. So I'm gonna add a bit more bronzer. I mean, I always add bronzer anyway, but I just feel like I need a little bit more with this red. And then I feel like I could definitely use some more blush. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Pink Blush. I really like a red lip with a pink blush for some reason and a bit of a pink eye too. I just feel like red and pink are really pretty together. So I'm just gonna continue to build this up a bit on the cheeks just to make sure that the skin has some life to it. And I'm also feeling like I need to take a little bit of it on an eyeshadow brush and just kind of dust it right here to kind of add that same tone to the eye area. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge on the side that had the highlighter on it just to kind of add a bit more of that on top of the blush since we just added more. Okay, I want a little bit of an inner corner highlight, so I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighter to just kind of pop a bit of iridescence right here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that and apply it right under the brows. I'm gonna take a small angled brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker shade of concealer that I use. This is the shade Light. And I'm gonna get a little bit of that concealer on this brush and I'm gonna use that to really sharpen up the lip lines. So I'm just creating the shape and then blending it out a little bit with the brush and then taking my finger and kind of pressing it down. Okay, I think the lips are as good as it's gonna get. I want to finish off this look with a dewy setting spray. I'm gonna use this one right here from Catrice. It's the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this all over the face. Uh -huh. Then I'm gonna take my fan, use that to dry it off, and then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just really lightly press over everything, being careful around the lip area. Um, I forgot to bring a drugstore brow gel over here, so I'm just gonna use my Glossier Boy Brow, but you could just use your favorite brow gel to set if you're following along. All right, you guys, so that completes my drugstore holiday makeup look. This seriously is perfect for those last minute events, or if you're just feeling festive, even if you're not going anywhere, this is a really great universally flattering kind of a makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love how it turned out. I might have to switch the lip before dinner tonight, but I'm gonna wear this red lip for a while because I just love a good red lip. And I really don't wear red lipstick too often. And when I do, it's usually around the holidays. So I always look forward to Christmas time because that's when I'm usually rocking a red lip, you know? If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload a video. I feel festive in my sparkly shirt. I'm ready for my Christmas party. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. And I hope you enjoyed this look and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.